Hey there, I'm Margo from Service Titan, and today we're going to walk through the upcoming ST59 release notes and how they're going to affect you as a technician on the mobile side. Today we have two exciting features. It's the mobile estimate redesign and some new form triggers that you may notice. Let's start here on the estimate page. Hopefully your company has started adding estimate templates to make your life easier to just click select and have these pre-made templates ready to roll. So if we click present, you're going to see the new redesign here. So now you can see images from the price book, some of your items, your potential savings from different memberships, and some other things we're going to go into next. When you click into the estimate, you can actually change the image that's showing. The default is to use the most expensive item in their photo, but you can always click change and find the photo you prefer to have showing and hit select. When you click present and click into one of these estimates, notice you can actually click in between each estimate so you don't have to keep clicking back and forth from present mode, it's just saving you some of those extra clips. The next thing we're gonna look at is our HVAC pack related to these estimates. So this is gonna be more of those companies that handle HVAC. So if you click into it, you actually see a few extra items here. So you can actually click add rebate and so you can add some of these rebates to really show the customer the value of the different estimates you're presenting. So you could say power company rebate for $100 and click add. There's also add energy savings, which you can click in here and manually add those items, or you can click and use the calculator, which is the SEER energy savings calculator. So it looks like I'll do one year savings in California. Current is nine. and click calculate. So it shows you the savings, save it to the estimate, and let's go see what that looks like. As you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, those extra boxes have been added showing your rebates and energy savings. And if you don't end up filling out those fields, then it'll look like what you can see on the right-hand side, which just shows the potential savings or the member savings if you already are a member. The next thing we're gonna look at are those new form triggers. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually sell one of these estimates. So two of the triggers are related to clicking perform work now or perform work later, because some forms need to be filled based on which decision you make. So for now, I'm going to say yes, I'm going to perform the work now. And as you can see in the bottom, perform work now form has been triggered. But if I want to go back to that estimate, click those three dots and change it to perform work later. Now my perform work later form is triggered. You may see a couple of other triggers that come through, which are related to estimate items being added to the estimate versus items being added to the invoice. It all depends on how your company wants those forms to be filled out. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.